Good evening, good evening, good evening, everyone. Hope everyone's having a uh, blessed Sunday, safe Sunday. And um, I pray everyone has a safe and, safe and upcoming week. Safe and sound upcoming week. Um, so much to talk about. Uh, so much that I want to touch on briefly. Um, let me just get my uh, bearings right here. living in such unpredictable, uncertain times right now on every level. I don't even know how to begin this. Um, we're living in such unpredictable and uncertain times right now that you really don't know What's going to change from one day to the next? Who's going to change from one day to the next? There's so much uh, going on and happening all at once to the point where I don't even think um, I don't even think most people know what to do or how to handle or how to cope at this point. It seems like everyone's looking. You know, to everyone else for answers and solutions right then, right now. But um, I feel like I'm learning so much as you know, as each day that passes and every day that uh, you know I grow older and just wiser and. It seems like so much is just becoming obvious to me and so much is being revealed to me on so many different levels in so many different ways. But I'm thankful for it all and I'm, I'm humble and I'm appreciative of for it all, you know, despite anything, you know. Um, A lot starts to make sense when you you reflect on compatibility with something or someone. Um, when you reflect on compatibility with something or someone, it, it kind of helps you to realize and learn a lot about yourself in the process, but it also makes you, uh, helps you to understand why certain things don't work out how we may have wanted them to at one point in time, or, uh, it helps us to understand why something or someone wasn't good for us, whether that be, uh, a person or a job or a, um, a school, you know, anything, anything, a team, on any level, um, it's like you, you start to see when you reflect and you start to understand from different perspectives and you know different point of views that uh, there were so many things that didn't that wasn't compatible with you in the first place that you may not have realized or recognized you know in the moment and at the at that certain point in time it's like you may have uh overlooked it or just ignored it just for you being who you are you know um trying to stick something out or see the good in something or someone or 
just blinded by other things or distracted by other things, but not never really realizing or taking the time to see that, uh, excuse me, that um, this thing, this place or this person was never compatible with you in the first place for so many different reasons from daily routines to uh, responsibilities to um, you know beliefs um, you know certain views like there, there is so much that wasn't compatible to you in the beginning in the first place that it's like you know no wonder it never worked out or no wonder certain things happened or took place or no wonder you know you you just was never compatible in the first place and it's like this can be it don't have to just be friendships or relationships it can be friendships as well or any type of relationship uh like i said jobs uh school uh you know a team sporting team um it's like no wonder it never worked out or it never you like you you were never on the same page with someone or something or you know it was like there were so many things that just weren't compatible in the first place you know uh It's like, no wonder you never liked me. If I'm speaking, you know, speaking hypothetically, it's like, no wonder you never, you never liked me. Because my growth and my elevation was something you couldn't understand. And something you knew that you couldn't, you know obtain or achieve on yourself because of your lack of discipline, lack of uh, ambition, lack of motivation, lack of commitment, all these things that you know you don't have within yourself. So of course you're going to hate the hate that I have those things with within me. So of course any type of growth or elevation or progress in my life you're going to envy and you're not going to like. And it, it's a reminder to you of your limits, limitations, and your and your uh, habits and lifestyles and 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 patterns and behaviors. It's a reminder of how you are, and why you are, where you are, in life. And that goes for, like. Everything and everyone, yo, is not just a specific person. It's like if you start to, if you put that in place, what I just said, if you put that in place and start reflecting on all the people that you know right now in pa- and in, in the past, I swear it's like it starts to make, everything will make sense. It's like, wow, like no wonder. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like no wonder. And it's so interesting, man, because it's like, it's like this is why there's so many fallouts there's so many disagreements there's so many comp there's so much conflict there's so much it's like there's so much there's no compatibility on any level in any area you know we're just going based off what we see and what we want overlooking and disregarding what we actually need and what's actually good for us and completely ignoring signs and 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 uh, red flags because of it, you know. It's like we're so uh, we sometimes we get so lost and we we get so um, caught up in other things like you know our pleasures, our and our wants, and our desires, and our you know instant gratifications and our you know satisfaction you know getting a satisfaction that we we overlook so many things that like was never good for us or compatible with us in the beginning you know um 
And this goes for all types of relationships on all levels, not just, you know, intimate and romantic relationships, not just marriages, not just, you know, it's really across, all across the board. It's like, you, you, we didn't come up the same. We didn't have the same uh, type of parenting. We didn't have the same type of upbringing. We didn't have the same type of uh, household. So it's like, uh, no wonder we don't see things eye to eye. No wonder you don't know what love is. And you just know, all you know is survival. It's like, no wonder, it's like, it's like not being not being loved and not being experiencing love during your survival is a uh, is, is not going to be compatible with someone who was shown love and, and given love unconditionally throughout their upbringing. You know what I'm saying? Like it's not it's just not gonna, those two two uh, people are just not going to be compatible in any way on any type of level on any type of relationship friendship or not friendship or relationship it doesn't matter what it is y'all just are not going to be compatible off gate because you see life so differently you know so it's like any little thing can be a trigger any little thing can spark an argument any little thing and it's like um you know before you know it you know you're you're um stuck in the same cycle of Assuming that this new person is going to do what the old person did because that's all you're used to is what, you know, the same type of people that you encounter over and over and over again. So every new person you come across, you're assuming the same type of thing because you're so used to being in the same dysfunctional cycles with people that you're not compatible with. And it's so it's so deep, man. It's like we literally come across the same type of people because of how we are and who we are and the things that we overlook and the things that we don't take time to stop and slow down and see before it gets to, you know, it's like we want people to do something extreme, like you want to catch someone cheating or you want someone to put their hands on you or you want something drastic to happen before you make it up in your mind to leave someone. When really there were so many red flags and so many times before that where you should have realized that this person is not compatible with you and not good for you and you should have walked away a lot sooner. And uh, we usually don't do that. And before you know it, things get deeper, things get deeper and things uh, you know happen. Uh, kids are made, babies are made. And uh, before you know it, it's like, you're just in a situation, in a position that you really wish you uh, weren't, you know. And it happens so often. It happens so so much, you know. This is why divorce court is a billion dollar industry. This is why uh, marriages are exploding like pop, popping like popcorn, falling over like volcanoes. It, it's like uh, we we uh, we rush into things and we overlook so many things that we should have been more aware of and concerned about early on, early stages, you know. And people people give you warning signs. People show you, man. People will show you who they are. And if you let them talk uh, long enough, they'll tell you who they are every time every time every time it, it only it, it's like it can be in a joke it can be in a story it can be in a anything it can be in the moment and experience it's like it can be a comment on, on a anything if you listen closely man and observe people people will tell on themselves and you'll get an idea you'll get an insight of how people think and and how someone's thought what thoughts someone's thought process is like and what's on someone's mind and what and what people uh, dwell on and ponder on. And pay attention to the questions people are, are ask you and what they're always asking you. Like pay attention because it'll give you it will literally give you an insight on on where someone's mind's at and what people think about. And it will you have to have the discernment and be able to determine whether that is for you or not. 
And like I said, that can be a relationship, that can be a job, that can be a team, that can be a school, that can be a program, anything. Because you you have to be able to have that intuition and have and know the vibes and know what's up. Because ain't no one going to uh Ain't no one gonna give you better advice than your gut than your gut. And that's and that's real, you know? It's like energy is real, vibes is real, and it's like if your gut feeling is telling you something is off and something ain't right, nine times out of ten, it's it's because something ain't. And and, and sometimes you want to know, but then a lot of times you don't even want to know. It's just better just get the fuck out, <laughs> you know. But um, if you're around someone long enough, if you spend enough time with someone. Time will, will reveal everything you need to know. And it's up to you to make decisions. It's up to you to make choices. And it's up to you to um, do what's best for you. Because it's like, uh, if you don't, you're going to be li- living in a toxic, dysfunctional cycle and pattern that you uh, that's very unhealthy and that you're just going to wish you hadn't been. And you're going to... Uh, encounter and come across, um, you know, so, so many, uh, things and people that you just don't want to be necessarily involved with or associated with or affiliated with, uh, deep down, you're going to know that it's just not for you, you know, um, On another note, I feel like the quarterback position in the NFL is going, how can I say this? The quarterback position in the NFL, first of all, I want to start by saying this. Young black boys in America need to start understanding that there's so much more that they can do outside of playing sports and outside of the NFL and the NBA. Young black boys need to understand that there is so much more that they can do outside of becoming a rapper. Outside of rapping. Now, I'm not saying there's nothing wrong with making music. There's nothing wrong with having a love for music. There's nothing wrong with any of that. But the path that the music is going down today is destructive, deadly, and it's it's detrimental to the mental health and the safety and security of our young black youth. So if if we can start to somehow, some way implement in these young black boys that even if you do um, happen to play sports and you're playing football in particular, specifically, and and you have the desire to play and a dream to play quarterback. You can, and you're 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 able to, and you're very well capable to do so. And don't let anyone tell you any different. You know. You have the athletics. You have the intellectual ability. You have the intelligence, and you're smart enough, and you're more than good enough to play in the NFL. It's that cliche, it's that simple, and I don't want anyone to tell you otherwise, and I don't want you to believe otherwise.
we need to start understanding and, and realizing how much power we possess, who we are, where we come from, and what we are capable of, and our true natural abilities outside of physical athletics. If you see how much we can do on the on the uh, football field and on the court, if you see how much we can do there, imagine how much we can do with our minds and our brains and our ideas and our visions. Imagine what we can create and what we can build and leave behind for the, the younger ones to grasp and build and uphold. got to find your way out here as a black man out here as a young black boy you have to find your way you have to learn how to maneuver and you learn you have to learn how to adjust and adapt to your circumstances and to your situation and still be able to move forward still be able to progress okay i know no one is telling you this and I know no one is taking the time to really do anything with the black youth because they feel, you know, they got their own problems or they got their own things to deal with or their own kids, whatever the case may be. Um, we have to uh, us as an adults have to start to show kids, man, the young black boys that they can do more than that there's more to life than rap music. You know? That there's more to life than uh, sports. You know? Um, there's more to life than video games. We can learn it just like they did. We can learn it all. Stocks, bonds, realty, real estate. thankful to be able to sit here and give y'all this message and be able to speak to y'all like this um, accountability is something that we have to really start to uh, focus on within ourselves So we can implement it and instill it in our kids. But um, that's it for me for now. Appreciate everyone tuning in and supporting the channel. Like I said, um, thank you for all the support and uh. Please continue to share my videos and share my um, my information with people and, you know, don't hesitate to reach out, you know, to talk or get advice or anything or um, if you need pointers or tips for your health and your fitness, I'm also here for that. 
if you need a trainer, you know, I'm also here for that, but it's, it's no pressure at this point, you know, um, but I'm always, I'm always happy to learn, and I'm always happy to build, and, you know, grow, so y'all continue to stay safe out there, have a safe week, be blessed, and continue to give God all the praise, and continue to be thankful and humble, even though you fall short, even though you make mistakes, and even though you, you know, have setbacks and trials and tribulations, you know, it's always uh, a brighter day ahead, you know, things always get better and things always work their way out, and God always has a plan for you and your path and your, you know, your life and your family, you know, continue to keep family close and try and help them to learn and grow as much as, uh, as you are, you know, um, there's so much, uh, that family can do for each other, especially in times like these, so, we always have to keep that in, like, the forefront of our mind, and keep that in our mind that, you know, family is, you know, number one, in this crazy world but all right thank y'all again love y'all take care be safe peace